this section of the video, we're going to talk about routers. Now, routers are the last major tool that we've added to the I Can Do That kit. We tried to get along, well, we did get along without them for about five years, but we decided there's just some instances where it's the best tool for the job. In the I Can Do That lexicon, that's generally for profiling an edge of a piece or using it for pattern routing. So, uh, it's good to have a router in your shop as you get more experienced as a woodworker. You might find a lot of uses for it, uh, a lot of joinery uses you'd be using it for, lots of jigs for cutting dovetails and other joints, uh, finger joints, that sort of thing. But as I said, we're keeping it pretty basic for the I Can Do That kit. So how do you choose a router? There are many types and sizes of them and there are lots of options. Do you want a fixed base router? This is a fixed base router. You lock the motor into the base and it stays at that level the whole time you're using it. Do you want a plunge base router? This is a plunge base router. I can locate it on my work where I want to, get started, or turn it on, and I can press it into position, lock it down, and then start using it. Do you want a trim router? A trim router is a nice little tool. It's uh, actually called a laminate trim router because it was uh, developed for trimming off laminate countertops and the like, but it's a great little tool in the shop too because you can grab it with one hand. One of the challenges is, however, that it has a small base on it, so sometimes it's hard to keep balanced on uh, your workpiece. The other challenge, or limitation, I suppose, of a trim router is that it only has a quarter inch collet in it, and the collet is what holds the bit in position. And when you're doing uh, work with larger bits, you're going to want a half inch, uh, maybe a three eighths, but we only have half inch and quarter inch here uh, shaft on your bit because you'll get less vibration, you'll be able to do heavier work. And that's one of the things to keep in mind when you're also looking at the collets that are available with the router that you buy. A lot of them will come with both a half inch collet, which holds the larger bit, and a quarter inch collet. So you can switch back and forth if you have a larger router. Trim routers, I'm pretty sure I've never seen one that comes with a half inch collet in it. So another thing you want to keep in mind when you're looking at your bits is, is it bearing guided or not? And a bearing is a little piece here that spins free as you move around the edge of your workpiece. Sometimes it rides on the work itself and limits the travel of the, the cutting edge of the bit, and that helps keep you uh, cutting where you want to cut. Sometimes it travels around the edge of a pattern, and we're going to use this one in a little while, that you set against your work, and where did that one go? So this is going to ride on the pattern here, and that's going to keep the cutting edge from going any farther into your wood than the edge of your pattern.